Hello, this is Danny March, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book haul. Um, this week, this week around, I got close to 25 comics, and yeah, I also want to say before I continue that this is my third time actually trying to make this video and upload it. Um, I don't know why, but I've lately been having trouble in actually making videos and uploading it. Uploading it, I don't know why, but you know, hopefully this one works. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, first up, I got Extermination number four. Um, this one's by Boom Comics. Make that lower. Um, and sorry about the glare. You know, it happens sometimes. Um, you know, I really do like the the cover. It looks interesting. The content inside does look interesting. Um, I usually don't get much comics from some of the low um less known publishers, you know, such as Boom or Max or you know some of those other ones like or Malibu. But most of, um but most of these I, I wanna say at least half of this haul consists of the lower the lower known um comic companies with like the other half being Image. I'm actually a huge fan of Image Comics. Um I actually do think they make better stories than Marvel and DC, which surprises many people, but in my opinion I prefer Image. So yeah. Well, you know, besides that, um, you know, here we have Extermination number four from Boom. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I've seen some of the content inside, and you know, I'm really excited to see uh, to read this. Um, next up, I have Infestation number one from IDW. Um, the reason I got this is because it looks like it's gonna have some kind of zombie theme. I mean, it kind of reminds me of an issue of Walking Dead. I believe it's like number four, or something like that, where it has like a big eye. Um. I don't remember what what it should is, but you know it's got a giant eye. I may I have to switch that up later. But yeah, you know, infestation looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't really seen much in the inside, but you know, it looks like it's gonna be some kind of a zombie story. I want to read it, so here it is. Next up, we have um Terror Inc. Apocalypse Soon by Max Comics. This is um the first part of a five issue limited series. Again, um, it looks like it's gonna have some kind of zombie theme just off the character in the front. Um, you know, it looks interesting. Again, I don't usually get from some of the lower companies, but you know, I'm always down for trying new things. So you know, here it is. Next up, we got Bad Rock and Company from Image Comics number six. Um, as I said before, you know, I love Image. I love you know their artwork, their stories, their you know their plots. Um, they seem more grounded, more realistic, and you know this one looks like it's been gonna be um looks great. It looks like it's gonna be cool, um, well done. It's number six. Um, so you know we'll see. Hopefully, I like it. Next up, we got another Image Comics Masters of the Universe number seven. Um, the the cover really sold me. You know, you got the skeleton with um um you know. Some guy seen some person seeing the skeleton, you know, and you have the glasses kind of reflecting it. I've seen some of the content inside, it looks pretty cool, so I'm really excited to read that. Um, next up, we got an issue by IDW. This is going to be 30 Days of Night. Um, the artwork inside looks pretty um, cool. I've heard some pretty um, great stuff about 30 Days of Night. Um, you know, the cover really looks, looks cool, and as I said before, I've heard some pretty great stuff with 30 Days of Night. And I've heard they're trying to make it to like a movie or a TV show or something like that. I mean, I really don't know any of such that up, but you know, it looks, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Next up, I got the ferret. And really, the only reason I actually got this um, is because of the shape. It's pretty unusual. Um, compares, compared to like this comic, I mean, this one's rectangular. Um, you know, this one has, you know, like curves and everything. It's not cut, but you know, it's got like actual curves it's pretty cool um this is by Malibu Comics and this is the ferret number one um I mean really that's the main reason I got this issue I may read it I mean uh, I don't know well looks the shape really just looks pretty cool which is really the only reason I actually got it um yeah next up we got um a comic by Valiant um secret secret weapons number one Looks pretty cool. Um, kind of reminds me of a few Marvel stories, or at least artwork-wise, looks you know Marvel-esque. So no, that looks pretty cool. 
Next up, we got a Dark Horse comic issue, Catalyst, Agents of Change. Um, it looks pretty cool. I've seen some of the things inside of it. Um, and I'm really stoked to see it. Let me put this at a lower angle so you guys can see the whole thing. Um, where, this is number one. So, pretty excited to read this. Next up, we got Fanboy vs. Zombies, number five, again by Booms Comics. Um, the only reason I got this is because it has the word zombies in it. Um, I'm a sucker for zo so oh, that came out that came out weird. I'm a sucker for zombies. You know, it has the word zombies in the title or anything close to zombies. I'm pro like odds are I'm gonna get it. Um, am I gonna read it? Maybe I don't know. I'm, I'd have to see. I mean, the artwork in the inside looks pretty decent. So yeah. Next up, we got another image comic. This is a Van Vanguard. Um, this one looks pretty cool. Um, the covers what sold me on this one got this kind of floating out spaces. Number one, the you know, artwork in the inside looks pretty cool. The the writing though, I've, I I saw maybe like two or three bubbles in the inside. You know, like speech bubbles. The writing looks okay, kind of questionable, but you know whatever. Okay, next up is I got it. the next thing I got is um is from Valiant Image. So I guess Valiant is a subsidiary from Image. Um, Deathmate number. Yes, you know Deathmate. This I guess this is actually a graphic novel back then, or what would have been a graphic novel. Um, so I'm gonna put that in my graphic novel collection. So yeah, Deathmate. You know, I saw it last time I went to the comic book shop. Didn't really get it because you know I was kind of iffy on it. But you know, this time around, got it. Next up, I got Daredevil 2004, um, the the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Um, you know, I, I love Daredevil, so you know to get one of his handbooks, um, sort of say, sort of speak. It's, I guess it's pretty cool. So you know, I mean, really, Daredevil's really what sold me on this one. Um, it's not really much. It's more like listing in the inside. Um, I mean, there are a few, there are a few images, it's more like bio, small bios on some of the characters of uh, Daredevil universe. So you know, it's I guess it's something. Three more for those um, fans of Daredevil. So yeah. Next up, I got um Super Spider Man's Get Craven number two of seven. Um, I have number three, I believe. So you know, my, my number two looks pretty cool. Um, here you know, kind of mimics the Jaws um poster. Number three mimics the Scarface poster, if I'm not mistaken. Number four, I believe, um. Mimics in the Home Alone number five and uh, number five I think it's like Cape Fear something like that. Um, number one and number six I don't mimic anything and number seven I've never actually seen image of it so you know look look out for that. But yeah you know really the covers really um, sold me more. Um, I may read it in the future I don't know but maybe once I have a whole story arc. I mean this is a seven page um seven comic issue limited series so yeah. <laughs> Next up, I got Secret Invasions by Marvel, number two of eight. I'm actually kind of surprised at how how cheap I got this. I actually got most of these comics for ten bucks. Um, and all in all fairness, I got, I think I got all but two comics here for ten bucks from the ninety nine cent box. Um, what happened is that they have this promotion. Um, that if you get twenty, you get it for ten. Like twenty twenty issues for ten bucks. And I'm actually surprised at how cheap I got this. I practically got it for maybe 50 cents. And I actually thought it'd be more, maybe at least two bucks. Maybe five at five at the highest. Um so the fact that I got it for 50 cents is something that surprised me. So yeah. Next up I got another Marvel book. This is Night Stalker. Um the the covers really what sold me on this one. It's kind of interesting. Um I've seen some of the stuff in the in the inside. It looks kind of it looks great and it has a um, Ghost Rider. Um, it's kind of in there a bit, so I kind of run reads just to know what it's about. Next up, I got the Secret Service. Um, I think they're uh, this is number six. Um, I think they're making a movie out of this later this year, something like that. I think it's, I think they're making a movie out of this. I'm not completely sure. 
um, I saw a trailer for this on um, last time I went to movies. I saw this one trailer for like Secret Service or Secret Service Man or something like that. I don't know. I need to look into that. So and I got and it kind of looks like it's kind of based off this comic issue series. So, you know, again, I just need to look into that. Next up, I have the official index of the Marvel Universe: Wolverine, Punisher, and Ghost Rider. Um, basically here, what um from what I see inside is they gather up a few of the most important issues of these three characters and just give a quick description of each one, like who's in it, what issue is it, and whatever. Um, this is number five of this series from the official index of Marvel Marvel Universe. This is number five. Um, so yeah. Next up, I got a dark, another Dark Horse comic issue, Rebel, um, comics greatest, um, week one, number one, um, looks pretty cool, the only reason I got it is because, um, the, the guy, I assume his name is Rebel, or, you know, whatever, he looks kind of, um, rockish, and that's really, you know, kind of grungy rock, um, type of character, I've seen a little bit, the inside, you know, it looks okay, um, really the covers really why more, more or less as to why I got it. Um, next up, I got Image Plus, number one. Um, I've seen this, um, this issue and a few other, other people's videos. And I'm like, you know, it's 50 cents, you know, um, it's not, you know, it's, for the most part, it's 50 cents, you know, I might as well get it. Um, basically here is, basically it gives a quick description and bio of every single important artist, writer, um, inker, you know, every single important um, person in image as of shoot then you check this as of um ninety nineteen ninety three um so yeah next up I got Captain Glory from Tops Comic um you know the the character in uh here is really what um caught my attention um the fact that kind of has Jack Kirby right there um also caught my attention. Um, Kirby Chrome, I guess. It looks like it's gonna be interesting. I am gonna read this one, and what I do like is it's supposed to bring like these cards or something. Um, and it still has it right there, the red. So you know, I read you like that. Mm. Last up, I um is a new comic book issue on the stands. Um, it's MPH, um number one. I, I assume MPH means miles per miles per hour in this issue image you know number one um it has three covers one with um three characters from the book um one of them is with chevy the other one's with, with like rosa and the other one's like with cameron or something like that some guy that starts with a c um i mean there's at least um there's seven different comics but um on Covers, I mean, but just I've only seen three of them so far, so yeah. Um, this is a new issue. Um, I'm gonna read it, review it in the future, um, near future, so you know, look out for that. So, yeah, that's basically my haul for this week. Week that came out wrong. Week, um, that's it. Week, so yeah, just to get, give a quick rundown as to what I got this week again. Um, MPH number one. MPH number one, Captain Glory number one, um, Image Plus number one, Rebel number one, The Official Index of the Universe, Wolverine, Punisher, and Ghost Rider number five, The Secret Service number six, uh, Night Stalker number fourteen, Secret Invasion number two, Spider Man Get Craven number two. The official Marvel, official handbook of the Marvel Universe, Daredevil 2004, number one, as I assume. Vanguard, number one. Fanboys vs. Zombies, number five. Catalyst, Agents of Change, number one. Yeah. Secret Weapons, number one. The Ferret, number one. 30 Days of Night, number, number eight. Masters of the Universe number seven, Bad Rock number six, Terror Apocalypse Now number one, Infestation number one, 
Extermination of the Four and Decimates the Graphic Novel. I just realized how many number ones I got, but you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's basically it for this comic book haul. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do comic book hauls, um, movie hauls, and poster hauls. So, definitely stay tuned for those. Um, besides that, you know, I review comics, I review TV shows, I review movies. So, also stay tuned for those. And besides that, you know, comment down below on your thoughts on this haul. You know, did you like it? Did you hate it? You know, what are your thoughts on it? And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.